Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? I am Isaiah Centros, and today we are sharing with you the devotion for the week. And this is taken from the life of Joseph while he was on lockdown, but he wasn't locked up. So we want you to participate in the devotion. We want you to look forward to the activities at the end of the devotion. And we want you to engage in that, share it with your friends at home, with your friends um, in church, share it with your family. And be blessed, blessings on your life, and have a good week. So, like I just said, today we are going to look at a lesson from the life of Joseph while he was on lockdown. And this is found in the book of Genesis. Today's lesson is entitled, Don't Hate, Love, and Appreciate. What if your biggest dream in life is to be the best video game designer there has ever been? Or your biggest dream and your highest goal in life is to be the fastest person in the world? Or your biggest dream in life is to be the best hairdresser there has ever been on the planet Earth. But just as you are about to fulfill that dream, someone frames you for a crime, lies on your name, and causes the police to put you in prison for 13 long years. <laughs> What? How would you feel? Will you feel sad and broken? Or will you feel angry and mad, filled with rage, waiting to take revenge? Or will you still be able to show love and kindness to that person regardless of what they did to you? Well, Joseph was in a similar situation. At the age of 17, he told his older brothers about a dream that he had, but they became jealous of him and they threw him in a pit and they sold him into slavery. Eventually, you know, Joseph ended up in prison. Poor Joseph, in an Egyptian prison, away from his friends, away from his family, he was on lockdown. But his dream wasn't locked up. And maybe you feel like you are locked down and you are away from everything else. But don't let the lockdown lock up your dream. You can still have your dreams and your goals and they can be fulfilled. Well, <laughs> here's what happened. The story turned into something good. We were told on more than one occasion that the Lord was with Joseph. And because the Lord was with Joseph, Joseph's story turned into something beautiful. Well, guess what? Once God is with you, regardless of how difficult things might be, your story can turn into something beautiful also. Joseph, he became the second most powerful man in the entire land of Egypt. <laughs> wow! Imagine this. Imagine you have your favorite pitbull puppy that you love very much, but your neighbor hates you and everything that you have. So they take your puppy, kills it, puts it in a bag by the side of the road so that everybody could see. And then one day later, on your way to the river to enjoy a nice bath, you find your neighbor's pet monkey half dead in the bush. <laughs> ah, what will you do? Mm -hmm. What will you do? Will you kill that monkey to take revenge? Or will you carry it back to your neighbor so that they can care for it and save its life? You see, sometimes it seems easier to do evil for evil but the bible tells us that at all times we must replace evil with good when joseph got the chance to do evil back to his brothers and to take revenge we see joseph doing something amazing 
which is what we want you to recognize. Instead of allowing his brothers to starve to death, Joseph fed his brothers with the most delicious, with the most expensive, and with the most beautiful meals that he could have found in Egypt. And in addition to that, he even gave them a whole set of money so that they can take care of themselves and to carry back home. Wow, how amazing is this? Why did Joseph do that? Well, we are seeing from the, our lesson that we must not hate people but at all times love and appreciate them. Maybe you want to get back at your friends in school for bullying you or doing something bad to you. Or maybe you want to get back at your cousins at home for doing something evil to you. Or maybe you want to get back at your parents or your guardian for doing something wicked or evil or even ugly to you. Stop. Think about what you are doing. God is watching you and he wants you to be kind, compassionate, to be loving and to be gentle. So don't hate but at all times love and appreciate.